Yo what up guys, MBR here, gonna be bringing you some Wukong Jungle gameplay for you guys today. Been a while since I last jungled the old monkey. There's a couple of nice points I really like about the Wukong Jungle. Firstly is his Q, you have a nice kind of dash there, so you come from the bush, if they're close enough to the bush you dash straight onto them, and allow you to do that additional damage. Secondly you have your W, which allows you to summon your clone, so you can actually come into lane before being spotted, so you have that little bit of invisibility, unless you're standing on the ward, and well, like, that just gives the whole plan away. And then obviously you then have your ultimate as well, which is just perfect for team fights, perfect for ganking once you hit level 6 if you decide to go say bot lane with some CC. We don't really have that CC in my team, that's one issue looking at my team comp might, which may kind of be a problem. We have a lot of assassins, you know, I guess you could ask Wukong as assassin, Talon and Rengar are definitely assassins, um, and our bot lane's a bit squishy, so that's one issue. So I probably will be looking to go tanky Wukong this game, probably start off with a Elder Lizard and then maybe a Hydra and a Brute, I don't know, it all depends on how the game's going, if, they, if the enemy team starts getting fed then maybe I have to go tankier, but something like a Sunfire Cape and some stuff like that would kind of certainly help me out, so we'll see, it's been a while, so this is the first, whoops, uh, do I want to go, no, no, we'll start off the war, war totem, it's been a while since I last actually jungled Wukong, I certainly haven't done it this season, as, I, I don't know, it's not as popular as what it used to be, I'm not really too sure why, it did actually get really quite big on the pro scene, um, obviously because his passive Wukong's armor magic resistance increased by 4 for each by near by enemy champion which obviously increases throughout the game which is really nice for a sort of team fight especially where Wukong am I lagging? I think I'm lagging what's going on? Uh, especially with Wukong where you jump in the team fight with your ultimate you're going to be tanking all the damage up so in that sense it's important that I be tanky because I want to be able to survive in the fight for a long time so we'll see. I, I'm actually toying with the idea of actually invading this Eve's red buff, which could be... Oh, he's yeah, just trying to bait them, I guess. Took a bit of damage, probably have to back them. If he doesn't back, it's going to cost him a little bit. I am lagging, though. My guy is moving very, very, very late compared to when I'm actually clicking my button. So I'm going to have to minimize perhaps, guys. I do apologize for that. I'm pretty sure I'm, it's me who's playing Wukong, because my... Well, we j I just heard first blood come out well, as soon as I minimized. I don't know what happened. I'm just hoping that's not on me. Whilst I try and close anything which may lag out my computer, I do apologize to this guy. We should be back up and running. Ah, oh, it's actually gone against us. Our karma must have got baited really hard, I guess. Um, that's a shame. Varus got first blood. I imagine she burnt her summoners. So, uh, I think from what I uh, from what I saw originally, it looked like he was baiting her in a little bit by just standing there, and obviously, that probably was the case. So. Oh, did I say my Q was a dash? I think I said my sequence of orders wrong. Look at it now. Anyway, you got the general idea. Let's start off with uh, Q, I guess. Q does the additional damage. What did I say? Oh, I said, I think I said my Q dashes in. Whilst my Q does additional damage. I, I mis made a mistake there. Did I just... What, what's, oh, I, can only, I saw the small menu. That was kind of scary a little bit. Uh, so it is very risky actually doing this invade. It could go horribly wrong. If it went horribly wrong, it would screw up my jungle completely as I kind of rely on having that blue buff. But at the same time, if I was to kill Eve, it could be like really, really cool. But it could be really, really bad. Um, so I'm taking a big risk here because the way Kale's pushing at the moment, um, it, she could like easily just come over here and screw me over. So. A drop a ward here so we can see her. We could even go top. Um, we'll wait for Eve. There she is. There she is, all invisible and stuff. She's actually checking the bush. And to the rescue we come. The thing is, with Talon now dead, this is really uh, dangerous. GG. I'm quite surprised Kale didn't actually uh, react to that then. Um, I don't think we're going to make anything happen here in this top lane because it's too far pushed. Potentially, I don't really think we're going to be able to make anything happen. He probably has actually seen me there. Uh, so we'll get out of here. I'm not going to be able to make anything top lane because it's just too far pushed. But that actually went a lot better than what I expected it because the problem was, which originally she was actually checking the bush. Um, that's why it's nice to drop that ward there. Sometimes I've st stood here before and come from behind. But because she was checking the bush, it kind of, you know, gave her the chance that she could see me and, you know, she if had she smited, had she been quicker and smite than me, it would have completely messed things up. But luckily I was able to do a lot of damage when I actually got on top of her, burnt her flash, and then ni the nice thing about Wukong, and, uh, which was really cool, is the fact is I had my E, so I was always going to be able to secure that kill. The only issue I had was that 
Halon, uh, Kale could have come in with. Especially the fact that she killed, um, she killed uh, Talon then. So it was uh, it was a bit risky, um, but it paid off in the end. It was just unfortunate Talon died. But nevertheless, it's put me off to a really good start. It slows Eve down horrendously a lot. She now, she now has no red buff. I stole the red buff, so I got the experience for that. And on top of that, um, we also got the um, her blue buff off her, so which is really good. Got to be a bit careful, you know. She may be trying to be a bit cheeky and actually try and invade this. It would be pretty crazy on her behalf, but you know, she certainly could try it if she really felt she wanted to put, bring her, try and get herself back into the game. Instead, she's gonna go mid lane. So Talon is having a terrible time at the moment. This is uh, really bad because Ko getting fed early game is certainly not what we want to happen by any means. And uh, she she got both the kills. So Eve picked up a kill. So that's actually gonna help her out a little bit. Um, not really too sure why she happened there, but Kale's already level five. Um, so she's very quite ahead of the game at the moment. And uh, we're gonna have to kind of try and sit mid just so she doesn't try and wreck the place. Um, but yeah, just just unfortunate, really. Um, I can't really say much more than that. <laughs> no damage. But we got off to a nice start. Having that first blood for me is really going to help my jungle out. Bottom's a bit too far pushed. There potentially is actually some maybe die potential if I can hit level 6 really quickly. Um, I still have my, well, my blue bus just about to run out. And Eve is the. Is she actually making anything happen? We're gonna move. I'm making my way down bottom. I really don't know what I can do for mid lane at the moment. I really. To, to make me. To, to Wukong. You know, sure, Wukong has great lane and presence, but with Talon so far behind, Kale has backed already, so. We'll see. I may regret this, especially if she hits. So I think she's back, and we need to pick up the sweep already. Um, looks like their AD carry has actually backed away now. We'll go into her jungle and just see if there's anything we can kind of take away. Oh god. Oh, I thought Kale had backed. <laughs> um, oh my god, my bot lane's backed as well. This is could be really, really bad because my W's down. I think we can get away just. Uh, we're not going to be able to do anything here. Even with Talon, ca ca Talon coming, I don't think we're going to make anything happen. Uh, so yeah, GG. Eve actually really baited me hard in then because I thought Kale had actually backed. So it was lucky uh, we were able to spot her and thanks to my W we were able to kind of get away. Because I was in the game. For, the reason I was so confident going to Eve because I... I, I Felt that Kale had backed when we went into the mid lane. Um, she had not. So I'm going to have to back because I, I can't do anything with this amount of HP. I need to get my Spirit Stone. It's going to allow me to clear my camps a lot quicker. And hopefully start trying to make some plays. Or sp especially mid lane. I really need to try and uh, make something happen there. As I feel he's going to be struggling a lot now. So I'll pick up some wards and a pink ward just for Eve. Oh, is he going to buy it? I'll sell my ward as well actually to get the sweeper lens. And try and get level 6 really quick, because the thing is, if I go mid now, uh, without level 6, Kale's ultimate's going to be up. I imagine her flash could still well be up, I don't know what happened at the start of the game. And, you know, Talon is really far behind, you know, I need that ultimate to make the plays uh, happen, so... Just try and farm that up really quick. Or I could go bot. The thing is, this is the problem, what happens when a lane is losing, you know, it really kind of draws your attention. Do you have to lose a lane, or do you try and help uh, a lane where you know you can try and actually make something happen? Oh no, please get away. OP fresh. I'm gonna be able to, uh... Make anything... Happen here? Ah, oh, nice. Ult's up. The thing is, Eve's actually ganking mid. I don't want to particularly have to... Use my ultimate just to kill. Ah, GG. Don't want to have to use my ultimate just on the sake of killing a uh, support. A bit of a waste. GG. It'd be nice to have got the kill, but at the same time, could kind of help calm out. But GG to Talon. He actually, uh, he actually um, killed Eve and got away. So uh, yeah, it was a bit unfortunate. I, I was let's say I was trying to hit level six as quick as possible before coming bot, but I was just a little bit, you know, a little bit late. Luckily, Fresh got the kill over. Um, Karma, I guess. Oh, uh, Jinx even, but yeah, it was unfortunate. But now the tops losing as well. It's like, uh, it's just horrible, you know. You you just want your lanes to be not necessarily winning, but just freezing. Because as soon as they start losing, it means that I have to sometimes. I don't know. You know, I want to be ganking other lanes like bot lane. I know there's sort of certainly kill potential with my ultimate. And Wukong really excels in my opinion in bot lane. Well, sure, he excels in other lanes, but for me to get the AD carry fed is really important. But at the same time, when mid's losing, you know, he's got 27 CS to 63 to the KO, it's, it's a hard life. But 
No doubt about that. So we're, we're giving blue buff because maybe that should help him out. If you can keep hold of it. Does he want the blue buff? I think he's going top airplane. Uh, I'll take the blue buff. I'm not going to say no to that. Oh, he's going for it. Has he got his ultimate up? Uh, no, yeah, he does. GG. Uh, he lost a blue buff. That's, that's a shame. Unlucky. <laughs> uh, good job there. Good job. I think I'm going to spend a lot of my time bottom as Eve seems to be kind of... Or oh, Jinx is really struggling. I have my ultimate now, so... Uh, GG to Talon, though. That's going to really help him out here. Um, Varus isn't actually level 6 yet, so if we can get here quick enough, it could be really nice. But we don't know where Eve is, and we don't know where uh, Kale is. I oh, should just put a pink ward in there. That was a bit unfortunate timing, wasn't it? I could use my sweeper somewhere else. <laughs> uh, unfortunate. Okie dokie. Well, we're quickly cut out my red. You know, the thing is, I would like to be really kind of trying to counter jungle Eve at the moment because I think she's certainly far behind and I'm definitely a lot stronger than her now. But the problem is, would like I say, with the lanes losing, it means my attention's kind of not drawn to being able to counter jungle at the moment. As I feel, I really want to get Talon going because he's actually picked up two kills for himself, which is pretty cool. We haven't done any from Rengar either, and again, you know, every. I don't know, it's, it's hard to say what's right and what's wrong, but for bot lane picking up kills, she might be able to actually. Here, sort that out. GG. Need to get some uh, wards into Eve's jungle, really. Oh. Guess it's not too bad. Jinx got the kill. Where uh, Kao is at the moment. She could be taking the blue buff, maybe? I don't know. Then this is the other part of jungling, is counter jungling the other team and the other jungler and also you know, the mid laner, because, well, you know, fun as a Kao is. She could be anywhere. That's scary. Um, and it kind of makes me think, you know, do I want to go somewhere in case I bump into Kale or, or not? But obviously we have got vision of her now, which is nice, but she is quite far ahead of um, Matey Boy. I'm going to go top. I don't know what... I imagine he's just about to drop a ward in there, isn't he, unfortunately? He actually just walked over a pink ward. How about that? How about that? We should be able to get away here um, without too much of an issue. At least we know the pink ward is there. We just have to find a better time to go get out. Uh, oh, Rengo is in a bit of trouble now, isn't he? We can really do too much for him. I'm just so low. There's... I don't know what Talon's actually doing. Like, Talon's in a bit of a suicidal position there. There's not really much I could do in this situation. I'm just too low. Um, I don't know. It's a bit of a shame. We could actually potentially maybe lane gank top. I don't know. It's risky because I am actually so low on HP right now. And if Eve was to be there, it would be... Uh, Pretty bad. <laughs> you know, I, I'm on a pretty reasonably, you know, I don't want to throw anything away at the moment. Um, sometimes, you know, it's just better not to gank. And that's just kind of, I don't know. Sometimes I'm sure your lane won't like to hear that, but sometimes it's just not bad to gank. I'm sure my May boy wouldn't be uh, too happy if, um, if I come into his lane and, you know, flip and just die. Unfor oh, you gotta be having a laugh like that. <laughs> uh, you know, that was probably worse. I probably shouldn't. I thought I was gonna kill. What level was he? Ten. The minions. How much? 115. It wasn't much. I wasn't expecting that to happen, you know. That's the thing. A lane. You can look away from a lane, and next thing you know, it's just all going flipping crazy. I didn't think there was any kill potential coming lane. One, because the lane was pushed, so Rengar was safe under his turret. The t so I couldn't lane gank because I well the minions you know would see me unless I was actually could have W maybe flashed in there but I just felt it was best to leave it because I was on low HP and you saw I died as soon as I went there um, so I I don't know it's just a bit annoying really um, and it's a real shame because you know I'm sure I picked up a kill but you know I've now died to gangplank and what, what does that help Rengar it helps him out you know zero zero bit. But I know I tried to try and correct someone, and I I was hoping I wouldn't die, but I just I don't know <laughs> I don't know what really happens. Actually, uh, GG to Talon, really well played to Talon. He's had a bit of a tough time in the middle. Uh, I wasn't paying attention to mid lane. <laughs> That's a fail by me. Um, GG to Talon though. You know he's had a real rough time in uh, mid lane, but he's picked himself up. You know he's far behind in CS, but he has got what three kills, which is not bad considering the way it was going. I'm going to try and make my way top. We, the thing is, I'm just under-leveled now, um, which is a shame. He's actually picked up some kills, I'm not too sure how, but we'll see if we can uh, make anything happen here. I don't actually have my uh, ultimate at the moment. We'll just hope. 
Ah, GG. I didn't want. I kind of felt Rengar was gonna have enough damage to kill him. Then I just didn't want to, you know, jump on. I could have dashed on him, but if I took the kill, then what? What good is that to Rengar? Um, not really gonna be able to do too much for bot lane at the moment. I'm gonna drop a pink horde just in here to try and get that vision. Try and actually see. There's no. I don't think we're gonna make anything happen. I want to kill this ward first. GG to Talon. Yeah, fair play to him. Thought he was really gonna have a tough game this game, but he's. Uh, Jinx could do with getting that kill, to be honest. GG. So yeah, I don't know what happened there, because oh, Eve actually. Oh no, shit. There's Kale. I was gonna say, where did even Kale go? But Eve actually died. And they clear up. We're gonna be able to get up, unfortunately. GG. I don't know if Jinx wants to blue buff. I'll give it to someone if they want it. I could have used that smite. I was going to take dragon, but fuck it. What happened there? I'm lagging a little bit. It's really annoying. It's really annoying. So to be honest, the best thing to happen now is just to back away. My ults are up, but I don't really feel, you know, Eve's about, so it's a bit dodgy uh, going in here. We can get away. It was more to try and save them guys, and actually just paid off. Oh, I'm quite surprised he didn't go for me. I guess I do have some armor. So, no, GG. So uh, it would have been nice to go up Dragon, but at the same time, it was too late. By the time I got over there and whatnot, it was too late. So the best thing we could have done was take away the blue from K already, which is really nice. And we even ended up killing up Eve, and I think Jinx got the kill for that. Um, you've got to be careful with Kale. It's gonna come uh, clean up now. So I'm, gonna, I'm actually gonna start building tanky now, just because Kale's got reasonably fed and it's pretty scary. And Gangplank's got a couple of kills behind him, so I think as much as it's nice to have damage on Wukong, which you know, I, I'd much I'd love to have damage, but at the same time, it's nice to go with tanky. Uh, so yeah, that was always gonna happen, really. GG to Rengar for cleaning up, but really there was no need to uh, there was no need for Talon to do what he was doing. Um, we we'll give uh, Jinx red, but who knows? She looked like she was going to be uh, taking it anyway. Just trying to get the experience from it more than anything. Uh, it's important for Jinx, you know, she's reasonably fed, so it's going to help her out. So I have no ultimate at the moment in time, but we might be able to. Nice. Make something happen here. Oh, the speed, the speed. Where's my E when you need it? Oh, that's slow from GG. That's slow from Varus. Just killed me off completely now. Drop a ward down, put a little sweeper, oh, there we go. I always forget to use my sweeper, so it's kind of nice to actually get some reward out of it. So yeah, really good jungle actually. From the way the start went, obviously we made a nice kill happen on um, on Eve, which was really good. But um, yeah, but obviously Talon getting a little bit lost in there. Um, it's kind of hurt, you know, hurt him, but GG to Talon for kind of pulling himself back in, you know, he's um, roamed around really nicely, and he's, ordered, he's earned himself this blue buff. <laughs> he's deserved himself the blue buff, I'm too much of a nice guy. You know, I, I want to give it to the mid lane, you know, it's not really any good to me, you know, I've got my spirit stone items, so I'm cool. Um, so, yeah, it's all good. Happy days, I want to keep my team happy, if the team's happy, then, you know, a happy team wins games. Have they take? Oh, they took the dragon. Wow, GG to them for I don't know when they actually pulled that off. GG. GG to Jinx. Wow, double uh, snare root, whatever you want to call that thing, my jiggy. Yeah, nice. Oh, another pink ward. Pink ward shall die. This is why I love boots of ability, especially when you're winning. Boots of ability even quite hard when you're losing, but when you're winning, it's so nice. Thing is, I'm kind of on my own here. I don't know where my Humans. We should. I don't think I'm gonna have to flash here. I don't want to uh, dive into him because I don't want to overcommit myself. I'm not really too sure what the, what's actually happened here. Uh, GG though. I I was trying to save Jinx as fast as possible. I was half tempted to flash, but I was a bit worried about what was actually going on with the gangplank and that. But in the end, it worked out. Karma's on a rampage. How about that? <laughs> Death cap support coming at you. Um, no problem. Op. So yeah, happy days. GG to the team. Um, yeah, really good. Uh, so I was really worried because obviously 
mid died what twice in the first couple of minutes and then Renga died and I, I was starting to get stretched a little bit worried about what's going on but the team has certainly pulled off and we made some nice ganks 4-1 to 5 compared to Eve who's 3-5 to 1 we've like almost doubled her CS so for me I, I'm, I'm a jungler that really likes to farm I'd rather farm than not necessarily gank I'd only gank when I feel like gank's right I don't know what Karma was actually doing over there on her own I'd only gank when I feel I need to gank like I don't like ganking for a losing lane because as I said earlier, that it's what causes the issues, and then the jungler dies, and you give away a double kill, and blah blah blah. You know, and it, it just makes life a lot worse for the for the top laner. I uh, can't really do anything about dragon. They could potentially take it. They did take the other one, so fair play. I believe they took it. I don't think we took it. I never took it. So, GG to E for taking that. Um, you kind of could have, should have took it instead of that blue buff, but I guess they were up. I'm going to pick up another two wards. My pink ward's still alive, so obviously I can't do another pink ward. I have my Sunfire Cape now, which is going to make me nice and tanky against GP, Eve, and Fresh and Varus. Bar, Kale. Kale's a bit of an issue. We'll have to look to some mad resistance in some percent. So it's really nice to get a Hydra or Brutalizer as you kind of like first item because you can snowball quite hard with Wukong. But the way I'm looking at it is I have so many assassins on my team with Rengar and Talon who are reasonably fed. Jinx is pretty damn fed. We've <laughs> gone for Inf Infinity Edge as a first item. You know, um, you know, I'm relying on them to do all the damage, which you know, I think is a smart idea. And I can always pick up a Hydra later, so. Not too much of an issue. At least now I'm nice and tanky. When I jump in there with my ultimate, I can try and get the whole sort of amount off, which would be cool. So we're actually going to try and do the... Um... Oh my god, fair play to Eve. There's one thing she has got down this game, and she's been able to uh, steal the um, buffs. Or dragons, even. Stole both her blue buffs, though. Give it to Karma. She's on a rampage, so... That sorts her out. Keeps everyone happy. We're a happy, happy team. We get a speed buff because that's how happy she is. I don't want to do too much here because Kale's in the mid lane, you know. Don't want to overextend for no reason whatsoever. Whoa. And they say that and then Talon's just like, nah, fuck you, man. I'm fucking, fucking going for it. I'm just gonna just have to flip in. Oh, can we get out of here? I don't think I'm gonna get out of this. Oh my god, I'm still alive. I keep lagging. I'm lagging. Uh, it was crazy by Talon. Uh, he did get a double kill, I guess two for one, but uh, I don't know. It wasn't really the smartest idea. We never knew when any of their team members were, and you know, that's what kind of cost us in the end. This is probably a really, really dumb idea. Oh god, lifesteal, lifesteal. That's how we roll. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that. That was pretty dumb, considering I was just saying the, uh, um, about flipping uh, Talon going in there like Yale. Uh, I'm going to get a Brutalizer now, let's get some damage on the game. Even though I still think I need to go a lot more tankier, but I'm kind of feeling pretty strong. 5 to 1, let's have some fun. Um, GG to Karma, you know, that's what Deathcap support Karma does for you right there. That's why you give your support Karma blue buff, guys. Remember that. Remember that. Rule number 1. GG to Tal. I really, I really have a lot of respect for this Talon um, because he was really far behind in lane. You know, he he was struggling and it was really going. Um, you know, life was going hard for him. And I never made a gank in that mid lane, and he's turned it all around on himself. So, uh, yeah, GG for that. GG. I full credit Talon. Yeah, I thought I thought life was going to be really hard for him. You know, CS wise, he's not yet 145. He's not even falling too far behind in CS compared to how it was looking. So, yeah, fair play to Talon. Uh, he couldn't win his lane when we won against Kale, so he just roamed and he's made my life. So, you know, because of because of his roam, it's made my life so much easier. You know, had Talon's mid just been kept getting wrecked and wrecked by Kale, and you know he hadn't because he's roamed, it's made my jungle so much easier and stuff as well. So, it's all teamwork, which is cool. It's a bit crazy just going for GP here, but nah. I don't know. I say that's crazy, and then flipping Eve just goes in like on her own. <laughs> um, but we do get not the pressure off, and we should get this turret. That's cool. Happy days, GG. That wasn't too bad, ultimate, I guess. I pushed him off the turret, but it was a bit crazy. And I think I'm pretty sure Varus has actually missed his ultimate then. Cool Varus skin, I I really I I forgot the skin for Varus, but I just don't really play him. And the Ash skin. I have so many cool AD carry skins, but I just don't play the AD carry, so I actually make it out. That pink ward, that's why I love this pink ward spot. No one ever checks it. 
No one ever does check it. Yeah. We'll drop a uh, Chinky Ward on Baron. Keep forgetting about my Sweeper. It's something, um, obviously, I don't really jungle a great deal, and it's just not something I've been really used to. You know, it's something I'm really used to if I drink it normally. I'm just terrible at the Season 4. I suck. Noob 101. Uh, we'll leave Blue Buff up for Talon. I don't really know what they're doing at the moment. They're a bit crazy actually being in the jungle, kind of like they are. Uh, we'll go join them. We're crazy. Probably gonna be too late, but... Oh god, I'm coming. I don't think we're gonna get here in time. I think it's Talon so low. It was, it was dumb for them to be there. There was no reason for them to be in the jungle then, really. I mean, that's what can kind of happen, you know. You, you get so far ahead in a game, and you can throw... I've thrown a game before, a couple of times, where you've been so fed. And you, and then I say fed, I've been like demolishing any team, but just because you and your mate, you know, I've done it with my mate before, where we've been so fed, we've just tried 2v5 in the whole team, and then lost, and then our team just gets messed up, and yeah, it's GG. And then you uh, then you lose the game. And you're just like, what? What's just happened here? You know, we were fed, but we played like idiots, so we lose. Um, so yeah, it's cool. We're looking good there. We shouldn't. We'd have to throw pretty hard to lose this. So is Karma going for the blue buff? Don't know if she wants it or not. I guess, or I probably bet on Talon. I guess I don't know. Say on that, she does have an. Uh, wait, what's her AP? What the fuck. 419 AP at 25 minutes on the support. That's ridiculous. <laughs> it was crazy. Um, oh, what to buy, what to buy. I think I need to get some mad resistance just for Kale. A bit of Eve, I guess, when we jump in those team fights. Could go for the Spectre for Kale. I quite like the Banshee's Veil because it just gives you this cool little shield and you look cool because of it. And well, it could block anything, you know. If it blocked a Gangplank's Q, it's quite a bit of damage. It would have blocked them. I believe my W gives me movement speed, right? I keep I keep doing it thinking that it does. I'm, I'm, I could actually be wrong on that. I think I am wrong. It just makes me feel I am fast. It just gives me that kind of, uh, makes me think I am faster. Adapt to all situations. So yeah, it's cool. Can we actually get a drag in this game? Well, at least it's up. We just need to make a play around here. Um, just need to, we well, could probably, uh, could probably go for it actually. We pushed them off, so fuck it. Just make sure my smite's up par. 760 if I can't even see it. Oh, we got a bit nervy. Here we go, can we get in here? We got Rengar coming from the side. So I had to flash in because I wanted to go for the uh, main target. Oh my god, I'm still alive. I'm still alive, but I don't know how. Oh my god, no fresh, don't do it fresh. You crazy man, you crazy. Told you man, you're crazy. I am loving Wukong. I say, I haven't played I haven't played Wukong, I don't think, at all season 4, let alone jungled him. And, whoa, my god. <laughs> GG to the team, wow. I don't know how I keep surviving. Um, you want to check out my big big rod, as you can say. Here we go, it's getting bigger and bigger. Oh, we didn't get to see how big it gets. So yeah, GG. I actually uh, really enjoyed that. I can't explain. That was probably one of the most most amount of fun I've had on League for a long time. Uh, it was a nice count. We know we made that gank at the start on Eve, which was a bit crazy, because had it have failed, it could have ruined my whole jungle, but we actually... You know, made it work. What was really nice about it was the fact that where I hadn't taken normally, if I ever go for an evade, I take that ignite, which probably sometimes gives the enemy jungler an idea that I'm going to go for an evade. But we didn't need the ignite one because Eve's a bit squishy. She's tanking the red buff up. She didn't see us coming. We actually stole the red buff. So the fact that I've now stolen the red buff means I get the damage. You know, that little. I'm not sure what kind of damage it does. Obviously, it does the tick or something. But I'm doing that additional damage to her for the red buff. I don't know if I uh, hit level three because of it. I don't think I would have done because I never would have took the wolves but you know I've taken that experience anyway and then when I then dash onto her with my EQ it's just GG maybe what I could have done when I could have saved my E I'm not sure how I actually played I can, off the top of my head you know it was about half an hour ago now I, I can't remember what happened in the last two minutes I couldn't even tell you what happened in that last team fight to be honest but um, so then obviously we then flashed so that I could close the gap because she might have flash and then two seconds later my E's back up it's GG the only problem you then have is that the fact that the mid enemy mid laner could come over which I was quite surprised Kale didn't one because she was pushing very hard so there was, it wasn't like Talon kept her under the turret and two she needed even killed Talon before I'd uh, I, before I, I start. It might have been just I was attacking her, but Kale just never reacted, and 
it was easy for me to get out, and it, but that really slowed Eve down, even though she did actually pick up a nice kill in the mid lane against Talon, but, but I have full respect for Talon for actually coming back. I thought this game was going to go um, reasonably, well, you know, it's hard to judge a game at the start, but, you know, when things start going bad, it, it's horrible as a jungler because you start getting the blame, and people are like, why aren't you ganking? No one said anything from this game, also. I guess they were happy with how things go went, but, you know, people are like, oh, why aren't you counting ganking, and so forth, so forth, and it's such a hard job as a jungler to be reading the enemy jungler especially when teams especially around you know in solo queue and i guess when you, you are up in diamond stuff people do it a lot more but in, in this people don't care enough I, I i personally from my experience in the in a majority about 90 percent and probably 95 percent of the games i play people don't care about their teammates so people won't ward for other people and that that's, makes a big difference you watch all the pro games and you look at the enemy's jungle and even your own jungle, the amount of wards that are covered by the enemy team on each side is ridiculous. They they have like four or five wards in each side of the jungle, so they know where that enemy enemy jungler is. And because you know where the enemy jungler is, you can counter gank, you can invade their jungle, you can take buffs. But you can't do that because one man, you know, me as a jungler, I couldn't possibly go through Eve's jungle the whole game warding it up. One, it would be too expensive for me to do on my own, and I just wouldn't have the time whilst trying to make whilst trying to find and trying to gank and do everything at the same time and that's why that pink ward was quite nice it gives these mid some vision but if everyone just bought a pink ward a hundred gold ward it's nothing you know it's what 20 gold more than a, a normal vision ward and it can last well my I, don't, I think my pink ward from what I saw, I lost last definitely majority of the game. I don't know if it got killed at the end. And the pink wards are so important. I don't personally buy them enough, and I'm starting to do it a lot more, especially as a jungler. And I probably going to start implementing it a lot more in my top my top lane gameplay. I really should have done before, but like I say, I I you know I I'm similar. I'm probably one of that 95 percent of the people that don't ward for your team because you know I get so annoyed with my team half the time. I'm just like, why should I ward for you? But you know, if you ward for them, maybe it stops them gang it dying. And if every person bought a pink ward and just a vision or or a pink ward and just use their trinket, the amount of vision, additional vision you'd have on your map would be crazy. And in my opinion, vision wins games because it helps everyone out, not just the jungler, everyone. But yeah, so I think I hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I think this is probably one of my best videos I've actually done for a while, and I, I I'm feeling I'm feeling really buzzing off this game. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed the content in this game, the Wukong jungle, really good fun. Hopefully, what I've explained about this game has been pretty useful for you junglers and whatnot. Obviously, I'm not a massive jungler, but I've got you know I've played a lot of League of Legends so, and watched a lot of the pro games, so I've got a good knowledge I think of what I'm up to. But nevertheless, GG. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a wonderful day and yeah, take care. Peace. GG to you guys that have made it this far. You earn yourself a cookie. Nom nom nom. You now have the option to click onto some of my previous videos. Clicking on the top lane will take you to a playlist of all my top lane videos that I've made. Over 150, including champions like Nasus, Renekton, Garen, Zed, Teemo. Click on my Nasus guide, you'll find out how to play Nasus like myself. Mid lane takes you to a playlist of all the mid laners I've played Lux, Cassidy, Valkos, many more, and all the pentakills for the pentakill playlist, along with some kill compilations and some pro plays in there. Enjoy, have a good day, peace.